Deep Flake. Uh, Ri uh, James Richards wrote Conspiracy Wars, talks a lot about inflation. He's a gold bug, like Peter Schiff. Talks about uh, James Richards. Oh, I know this guy. Uh, talks about uh, returns to a gold standard to solve a lot of problems. In short, I barely understand half of what he's saying, but talks a lot about a crash incoming. There, there's uh, there's going to be seriously. I just posted in our uh, economics and person. I think personal finance folder on Discord. That uh, be ready. Like if you're in the markets, Wall Street family has long positions but they're short heavy short positions as well okay so just letting you know that in terms of you don't understand half of it that's because half of it doesn't make sense right uh possibly let's say a quarter of it doesn't make sense the other quarter you need some technical stuff to, to, to make it make it work sense but look fiat currency is fiat currency fiat currency is based on trust right it, there, there's no intrinsic value behind it right the intrinsic value is the trust in the government in certain places is trust in the brutality of the government right however i don't think we can ever go back to a gold standard and i don't think we should go back to a gold standard one of the reasons we shouldn't go to a gold standard is because it's environmentally devastating for nature right in the past when you found and i by the way gang i i i got my degree in geophysics Okay, and mathematics i did 10 years of geophysics work i know about mining right i've done environmental work around tailing ponds i've done i've done the seismic um, and radar for to build the dams for tailing ponds. like i know about mining okay now in the past when you had a gold reserve you would run electromagnetic surveys magnetic surveys whatever surveys you want Ele geophysics is usually well actually uh, geologists sometimes they do a walk around and then they say oh this could be a prospect based on the dikes and stuff like this and then you bring in geophysics stuff they run their geophysics surveys and they pinpoint certain areas that you can go do intrusive look into b drill holes or whatever else you need to do more uh, extensive geophysics work so you find deposits that way right so every deposit in the world in the past you had to have a certain yield right certain concentration of minerals right where it, it was affordable for you to go in there and dig out those reserves there were there have been and there still are deposits that we know exist but the concentration of the minerals is not high enough to make it economically feasible to mine right now as if we go back to a gold standard the price of gold by the way shouldn't be 2000 or 17 uh 1750 1800 dollars right now august 14 2021 around 1800 dollars right it shouldn't be at 1800 dollars the price of gold should be at around 15 to 20 thousand dollars right but it's not because it's suppressed if we go back to a gold standard the price of gold is going to go through the roof what's going to happen is all those deposits where there's minuscule amount of gold and silver and all the other minerals and metals and stuff that we need to create everything that we have right now right as well as investment all of a sudden those mines are going to be feasible to mine okay and new deposits they're going to find right so all you do is you bring your threshold lower right you say okay if it's this concentration we can go in there and make a profit is that what we want we want to go and be able to mine to remove a mountain because that's where it's going to reach the price of gold is just going to keep on going up if we do gold back currencies it's going to go to a million dollars an ounce whatever it is i don't know right gold back currency centralized gold. wow just think about that for a second right what's it going to go to at those prices you can afford to go mine garbage dumps to get the gold out of them right and trying to get gold and silver and all these metals out of rock it's like trying to squeeze water out of rock it takes a lot of rock to get a little bit of precious metals right minerals but doing that creates a tremendous amount of poisons uh for the environment the tailings ponds 
that are created for mining gold are unbelievable. Just ponds, open ponds, where they're full of arsenic, right? And that stuff is leaching out into the groundwater. It's poison, right? It's poison.